hello everyone let's see today problem this is our third problem in blind 75 list so today problem is longest palindromic substring so given a string return the longest palindromic substring in s so we are given with a string and we have to find the substring in that string which is a palindrome and has the longest length so for example example one they are given us a string b a b a d and the uh, longest palindrome that we can make is b a b so what is palindrome palindrome is basically if you read the string from left to right or from right to left they will be equal so for b a b a b if we read from left to right it's b a b either we read from right to left it will again be b a b so each single character is also a palindrome because if it's only b either we read from left or right or right to left it's a palindrome so let's see how we can solve this problem and that was given to us was a b a and d so the palindrome here is a b and a because either we read from left to right or right to left it will be same equal so what will be the brute force approach of solving this problem it's just generate all the possible substring that we can make from this string so we'll generate all the substring and then for each substring we'll check whether it's a palindrome or not if it's a palindrome we will just keep a variable length variable which will keep it maximizing if the given substring is greater than the l value so we'll update it so what how we can generate all the substring just two for loop one for loop will be for i in range n let's suppose n is our length of substring the second loop will be for j in range i plus 1 to n so here we are generating all the possible substring and we are checking whether it's a palindrome or not if it's a palindrome we are keeping a length variable earlier it's initialized to 0 and if it's a palindrome we are keep updating with max of l and our j minus i plus 1 this is the length of current substring length of current substring so this is the basic <coughs> we are trying all the possibilities so we are enumerating all the possible substring and we are checking all the substring whether it's a palindrome or not if it's a palindrome then we are just updating our length variable with taking the maximum length and the substring length which we have generated just now so what will be the time complexity time complexity because we are using two for loop so it will be o in square and then here no space complexity so space complexity is over we are just using one length variable so space complexity is o1 and our time complexity is o in a square so <coughs> this time complexity we are generating this time complexity is for generating our substring So if we want to generate all the substring, we need two for loop. So this will take O in square time. Now again, we need to check for each substring. We are checking whether it's a palindrome or not. So we are checking whether it's a palindrome or not. So it, again, it will take 
o n time it will take the length of the so it will take o n time because for each each sub substring which we are generating we are checking whether it's a palindrome or not so again it will take o n time so total time complexity will be o n cube so can we minimize this time complexity to some quadratic can we or uh, skip this portion that we don't need to check at each step whether this string is palindrome or not because here for each string substring which we are generating we are checking whether it's a palindrome or not so can we minimize this step so let's see in the second approach how we can minimize minimize this so for minimizing it we need to <coughs> firstly see how the palindromes are generated okay so let's see this is a b a c c this is a palindrome now if we divide from its center this is its center let's take some other color okay so this is its center so if we divide it from center we'll see these two and these two they will have exactly same character means this will equal to this one and this will equal to this one for any palindrome currently we are taking odd length palindrome but it true for even length also so firstly we will take simple case so for this palindrome if we divide from the center and we will check for the next character before the center and the next character after the center they will be equal again this will be true for each and every character in the left part and in the right part so all the palindromes will have this property so can we use this property to minimize our this palindromic check so let's see how we can do this so we have we have a b a and d so here we know what we can do because we know every palindrome will have center and it has some left part and right part and the character before the left part and the character after the right part will be equal again we go in that direction so all the character in this palindrome if we subtract i from if this particular length is let's say let's or uh, take this whole length is uh, let's assume 2n plus 1 okay because we are considering here odd length so this will be n and this will be n that is okay because this is our one character middle character so these two will be n n so if we subtract here n minus i and n sorry n plus i and n minus i for all i from 0 to n so if we keep subtracting this i value these two characters denoted by these two points will be same just see here a b a is there so the palindrome length is 3 okay so we divide from the middle so here is only or let's some bigger example we'll put d here okay so now palindrome length is 5 okay so now we divide it so its left part will have two length and right part will also have two length now my i can range from 0 to 2 i can range from 0 to 2 0 1 2 so if i take i this is my center okay center now if i do center minus i center minus 0 so 
so this will be denoted by b itself and if i do center plus 0 that is b itself so this hold here also now we will do do for 1 so if we do for 1 center is our this 0 1 2 center is 2 so if we do 2 minus 1 and 2 plus 1 what will the character that will be denoted a and a because this is 3 and this is 4 okay so these two are equal again if i do 2 plus 2 and 2 minus 2 that will be d and d so all the characters if this is a palindrome then in this palindrome if we divide from the center then all the characters at an equal distance in the left and right portion will be same this is the property that is hold by all the palindrome so what we can do we can take advantage of this property so we will not go for checking for all the characters means when i am considering this particular index because when we are generating we are keep generating for all the string for in first approach if we see we are just not considering anything not taking in consideration of the structure of palindrome that what the benefit of a palindromic structure is how it's generated we are just simply generating all the substring that can we can generate and for each substring we are checking whether it's a palindrome or not if it's a palindrome we are just updating our length by this method but now here what we are doing we are like know that okay if we have found already a palindrome then we know that okay this particular character will be similar so there is no benefit of generating the substring for this this so we will not generate all the substring instead what we will do we will consider all the because see any index can be our center index any index in a string can be our center index of the palindrome so if we see our first uh, this example a if we see our first example that was a b a and d so 0 1 2 3 so see all these are individually a palindrome a is individually a palindrome b is also a palindrome a is also a palindrome this is also a palindrome this all are palindrome now what we can do we can just try to expand these palindromes by the property which we have seen above that <clears throat> if we try to expand because it, uh, so the palindrome can only be made when it's left and right character at a equal distance equidistance are same then only they can be a palindrome so we will try to expand all these single palindrome and check whether uh, whether the length is small or not or update the length so what now we will do we will try to expand all these palindrome single length palindrome so for one loop will be our running for these all these single length palindrome considering them as our center index then we will again inside one loop will be running to just expanding its left and right direction by using our condition and what will be the our i can be this okay sorry one is left left will be i minus one and what will be right right will be i plus one and we will start considering and our i should be because our strength should be inbound so i should be greater than and equal to zero we can go till that point sorry left here it's okay. and r should be smaller than n where n is our length of substring and our if s is our substring then sl is equal to sr 
then we can just keep increasing our expansion so how can we can increase our expansion so now we will take our left uh, left boundary as l is equal to l minus 1 here yeah, l minus is equal to 1 and r plus is equal to 1 and at last we will keep updating our length max of length and r minus l plus 1 this is oh, sorry minus 1 because these two are pointing the outside means inside is the current palindrome that is valued and l will be here because these two characters are not matching according to this condition then only this loop will ex will not execute it will execute till it's equal if it's not equal it will come out of the loop so our left and right will be pointing out out of the this current palindrome which is valued so we have to do r minus l minus 1 so this is for the odd length palindrome so what for pa uh, even length palindrome so even length palindrome is like 2 b b b b b so now here also our fundamental is same thing just what now we don't have a middle character so we will divide it from here from zero index so if we are dis dividing because there is no character here we have a character from that middle character we have a center and we are dividing from that center into left and right part now here what we can do we are just dividing from somewhere in the middle and we are just trying to see whether this particular because here no character is there so where the division will do we will consider that divided element in our left part and this is our right part so now here the change will only come in our this because now we are considering if we are dividing from i so our i will be included in the left part and r will be i plus 1 rest all things will be similar just we need to change because now we are dividing we don't have a middle character we are just dividing from the index and that index is we are including in our left part that's it and now we are just computing the similar same thing same logic we are doing and updating the maximum so let's code it out so let's start the code so now we are not going to execute the brute force approach because that is quite intuitive that we have to generate all the substring and for each substring we are going to check whether it's a palindrome or not and at last we are going to return the maximum length palindrome so i'm going to implement the second approach so let's see so what we need we need a length variable to keep track of the maximum length now any index can be our center index and we will try to any index any index can be our center index and we will try to expand it in left and right direction we will try to expand okay and now we have two cases one for odd length in odd case our left will be center minus 1 and right will be center plus 1 okay and for even case I am just writing out the things which we have discussed for even case length will be center and right will be similar center plus 1 okay so now let's code it out so for one loop we will be running for our center for c in range okay so let's first calculate the length of the string so n is equal to length s okay okay sorry here we have to return the string also so let's put it dress is equal to this thing okay so for c in range for our center index in range n Now we will try to just initialize our this is first I will doing the calculation for odd length odd length okay so we'll set our left to c minus 1 
and write to C plus 1. Now we will try to expand it while our length is inbound, then length is greater than and equal to 0 and our right is inbound means right is smaller than n then we need to just oh sorry and that checking condition we have to put and s l is equal to s r then we can increase our expansion in left and right direction so our left will be set to left minus one and right will be set to right plus one if we came out of the loop we need to check whether it's a valid or not so first we let see if our length is a smaller than r minus l minus one then we have found a bigger palindrome so we need to update so put l is equal to r minus l minus one and we need to update our result variable also now it will be s colon because see now our left is it's outside it's not inside so we have to do left plus one colon right okay in python we uh, uh, r we have to give one extra because python boundary will tell it's go r minus one so if we want to include r minus one character in our uh, string so we have to give r plus 1 so i want to consider till r minus 1 that's why i have given r here okay now we will check for similarly we will check for even length so all the things will be similar so i'm just copy pasting it from here it is just this thing will change we can make a function also and keep this thing in functions we can do either way which way function way will be good because we don't need to repeat our code so it's best practice to write in a function but here we are just copy pasting it because that is easier So here we have to, this is even length, so we have to set our C, L is equal to C, rest, all the things will be similar. Now at last we are going to return our rest variable. So now we have completed our code, so we run it. So it's giving us the correct output, let's submit it. So it's quite efficient also. So time complexity is O in square because we are using two loops. One for loop for all the center consideration. One is for the expansion. So at most it could be O in square and space complexity is O1. We are not taking any extra memory. But this we can implement in O in time also. There is Mankus algorithm which solves the palindromic substring in O in time complexity but uh, there is lots of trick involved in that method so we'll make a separate video for that Mankus algorithm and see how we can find the longest palindrome in O in time. So thank you for listening.